Heading up to few, to yeah. Johnny's place at the lighthouse again, is that right? You doing that yes. tomorrow? Yeah. Ah, so that's Have nice. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, that's one of our true. favourite haunts. Yeah, it's really, really terrific. Yeah, we won't get up this time, but it's nice to come over and see you here. Cool. Yeah. So, how have you been? What have you been up to? to fill us in with Good. the uh, the breaks. Yeah. yeah. With uh, Andy Harden. Uh huh. Our third in 20 years. Every 10 years, we seem to decide we have to do this. Yeah. So, and, and we've done a few dates together and oh, this and that, this and that. Um, Le, our, the wonderful Les Paul who recently uh, passed yeah. away um, last November. Uh, I had just returned from uh, from the UK and, and I got a call. To, it was, I was so, I just was so, I'm still knocked out by this. Mm -hmm. to, um, to go to Cleveland, where the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yeah. is, and and to sing a Mary Ford song. Ah, uh, that would be fantastic. And he showed up, and he played last. Yeah. But there are all these guitar gods, you know, yeah. Wayne Eddy and Richie yeah. Sambora. Yeah. Good grief, the Venturas. I mean, the the, the Ventures, sorry. Um, on and on and on, Billy Gibbons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It was just, it was unbelievable. Ah, oh, brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> what a treat. Yeah, yeah. What a uh, guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I never did get to see him, but he was playing right up to the end. Yeah, he was. He, was he played two weeks before yeah, he died. Yeah. That's right. He had a regular Monday night gig in Manhattan. Which I'm told was the bodiest of night outs. He ah. used to really take oh. them by the oh, well, the he, neck and. Well, yeah. I mean, that's what he was doing at this trivia cousin for himself when he closed. <laughs> he had this gorgeous Australian bass player. I mean, just a, yeah. a dame, you know, yeah. like a, but a young, young, good-looking, shapely dame <laughs> with all these body remarks. Back and forth. This is hilarious, really. He still played his ass off. Yeah, yeah, he was playing beautifully. I'd seen the documentary. And uh, in fairness, he had just about invented everything in rock and roll, didn't he? Well, yeah. Everything. Not to mention recording. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know they invented the the harmonica harness? Yep, I did. Somebody told me that this just recently, well, after we had it he'd passed. Fantastic yeah. man, great man. Well, that's a trip. That is a, that's something to really uh, oh, God. write home about. I'll eh? never forget that. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. So, uh, what's next? You're going off to do some stuff for your brother. You were saying. Yeah, at the end, towards the end uh, of of this tour, uh -huh. we're gonna meet up. He he just ha it was an accident. He happened to have a couple of, of country dates yeah. booked um, uh, in I think mostly the south of England, and he just <laughs> we were on the phone and he was he he told me that he was gonna be over on a certain date. I said, "Yeah, really? When?" Because you know, I'm, yeah. I'm going to be in the UK then, and at that point, um, this started looking like a possibility. So, I, so I think four dates. Excellent. Actually. Where are you doing those? Can you remember? 
No, I'll point everybody <laughs> to the MySpace well, and websites but, and things. Yeah, MySpace is, is is the most accurate source at this point, I think. Or Maverick Magazine. Oh, yeah, Maverick know, as well, right yeah. Um, and they're helping you out with this tour as well. They're great. Yeah, they really are. They're, yeah. They're, um, yeah, they're, they did a, a wonderful ad. Um, uh -huh. And they actually did a, a pretty interesting interview with me and my brother. Oh, that's, well. that's in, uh, well, there you are. If you want to hear more or see more from uh, Katie Moffat on tour, I'll get this up as quickly as possible so people can check out your tour dates. Great. And lovely seeing you. Thank you. This is the man that's responsible for taking Katie here. And we're, John, we're doing this for Flying Shoes Review, which is a web scene. And it's a name that uh, will strike a chord with you for Where sure. Where did you get that from? The well, you know, that's the Townsend yeah. album, yeah. 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 Of course, you're the uh, for those that know, and there'll be many, you're the man that had the best record shop in Scotland for many, oh, many thank years. You very much. Very thank much. It was, the heart, it was in the heart of Scotland in Perth. And it was a heart of uh, a great many people's music memories through through the years. So. Well, the best years of my life, I'll tell you. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. there's that as well. Uh, I, I mentioned uh, Flying Shoes and Towns and Zants, of course, because you also, as well as keeping the record shop going for all of those years, you, uh, you always augmented that by taking your favourite artists out on the road oh, and taking them around. I mean, I, had, I could write a book about Towns Van Zandt, just about, yeah. Yeah, although two people have already done it, so I guess I'm too late. Yeah. Well, how many have done it in Dylan? Eh? There's a, there's yeah, I think there's more people interested in Bob Dylan for some reason or another. Yeah. Yeah. Towns told me a great story once about the time he met Bob Dylan. But, uh, Tell me that. I can't actually remember. It involved, it involved a taxi, a thrift store, and... Oh, one of the towns had some crazy friends, but it involved a, it involved a taxi, a thrift store, and Bob Dylan walking down the street, but I've forgotten it. John! I've since forgotten the story, you man. You tease. Just, I know, I you know. serious I remembered tease. it for a while. I've, I can't, in fact, I don't think Towns finished it. You, you know, he, yeah. he, he used to start things and then, and then drift yeah. away. Yeah. You know, so. yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, a legend of the music scene and uh, just one of the finest songwriters. Oh, well, ever. I think the greatest songwriter, the greatest American songwriter, or the greatest yeah, songwriter. You wouldn't be time. alone. I'm in Nick and Newbury, without a shadow of a doubt. Right, yeah. right. So, what have you got coming? You've coming said, up, well, yeah. the next, in the near future, I'm working. We've got Dave Olney and Sergio Webb coming around. It's they always be quality here. stuff. They'll be here next yeah. July, yeah. and then obviously the great Steve Young and his son, Julie, yeah. will be. We'll be touring in a year from now, in fact, next next October. Yeah, so hopefully they'll be up. Uh, hopefully yeah. they'll be up these parts. And then there's Richard Dobson's around in December this year, uh -huh. but he won't be. He won't be. He won't the be furthest north he'll be. Well, he'll be in Glenuick, which is. Well, this is a worldwide web yeah. magazine, so there will be links and things that we can uh, oh, yeah, link up to. Uh, where do we find what well, John Thompson's up to? You'll find it just uh, if, if anyone wants to know. All they need to do is email me at. John at goldrushrecords.co.uk Gold gets yeah. me. The website's down just now. I don't have time to rebuild it. Okay. It'll be up again okay. sometime in the near future. Yeah. Great stuff, John. Thanks very much for keeping the music alive, yeah. brother. You're welcome. The lights of the town were just 
shutting down the sun was red. 